Hey folks, I strongly believe this is the best time to switch from Adobe to Affinity apps. Why? There are several reasons. Personally, I've been using Affinity apps for a while now. I switched with the first way of angry people when they introduced the monthly payments. You may remember that, huh? So I and many like me switch to Affinity apps and it was way harder back then. Not many resources, not many tutorials. Affinity was not well known just yet. It was confusing for people and companies to work with you if you use Affinity files. But now, now the landscape is so much better. So today we're going to talk about some reasons for switching from Adobe to Affinity and why I think it's a perfect time to finally do that. So you may hear already, Adobe is changing the term of service and there are some controversial additions to the term of service, like the one that they can actually use your content to improve their own service. And what they mean by that, they can train and improve Firefly based on your content, right? And some people have been defending Adobe here, like why they would never do that. It would be end of the company if it's people find out they actually did that to you. Yeah, they got kind of bad track of mishaps like that in the past. So I will be not defending this huge evil corporation. Just telling you that now in the regulations, they got something like, uh, take a look here. So automated systems may analyze your content and creative cloud customer fonts using techniques as machine learning in order to improve our service and software. So you are kind of feeding them with data for the own for the AI to be better and better. On the other side in Affinity, Affinity is for now AI free. The AI integration may come in version 3.0. I will talk about this later in this video, but for now, everything is client side software. So your own processing unit on your laptop computer process all of the stuff that Affinity does and you don't send your data, your snapshots, your pictures to some kind of creative cloud server to analyze that stuff for you. Of course, part of this is because of how the AI tools works. Some of them are processed off your computer, they're on server side. That's why Adobe may putting stuff like that in, but what is stopping them from actually using it to train AI with terms like that? And it's even get worse. If you look on point four, point two, you will notice that you kind of give the rights to your content for purpose of operating or improving the services and software. And by improving the services and software, it can mean Adobe Firefly again. So you're kind of training the AI that may replace you in the future. You're a poster designer, all right? They can analyze your posters and guess what? Next new feature for Firefly is to generate posters, right? So <laughs> kind of sketchy. So that's one of the reasons to switch right now. We got those sketchy AI analyzing our designs. If you don't like to be a part of that, you can switch to Affinity. So if you decide to make this jump, how can you replace your Adobe apps? So this app called Affinity Designer, that's the main one. So the main app for Affinity is not a Photoshop equivalent, it's Adobe Illustrator equivalent. So that's a vector design app. Affinity Designer, that's the blue one. That's our vector design app with some light raster editing features in the Pixel Persona. Then we got Affinity Photo. That's the violet one for Photoshop. And there's also publisher for long publications, some kind of InDesign, right? So we got those big three apps covered by Affinity. What if you also using other apps in the Affinity Creative Cloud? then you need to look elsewhere. So if you, for example, use Fresco for digital art, you may need to use Procreate. It's not part of the Affinity family, but I'm guessing it's still cheaper than paying monthly, even you need to use several different apps. There's also DaVinci Resolve that can replace Premiere. And for Lightroom, I think LumaFusion is a quite a good choice right now. 
all right so keep in mind nowadays there are actually good apps that you can use instead of adobe it was not that easy a few years ago but now i think it's way better keep in mind this is not the very first mishap by adobe with the firefly training on people images all right so i don't see this popping up recently even people make some angry rants on adobe nobody seems to remember this but Adobe actually trained the initial version of Firefly on Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock is nothing else than Fotolia. Remember Fotolia, old people? So Fotolia was this stock bank, right? You go there, buy pictures like any other picture banks, but then Adobe bought them and renamed them to Adobe Stock. So I happen to have some textures and stuff like that in Fotolia, and then they simply be moved to Adobe Stock. And then I find out that they use my content to train Firefly. We kind of learn about this after fact. Of course, they change the term of condition and no one noticed. We just learn when they literally confirm that. So they got a huge fire there. And what they did at that time, they kind of pay some compensations to some of those artists from Adobe Stock that they they took the pictures already, they trained the AI model already and they paid them after. Like after it was like big big deal publicly known that they did that. So that's not the first time they tried to train Firefly on on human content without kind of being clear about it. Alright, so don't forget about this very first scenario that happened at the very beginning of the Firefly went public when we just find out that they took the content and used it to train ai keep in mind adobe love to monopolize the market they always stay there for creators and designers but actually behind the scenes they always work very hard to get rid of other companies that provide similar software some of you may still remember fireworks or very good freehand so what they did they bought those companies out they acting like they're going to join it to the creative cloud whatever it was at that time and very shortly after that they just killed them so you have no alternatives and this was a build up that was like a building stuff up building this monopoly from themselves so they will be allowed to introduce monthly payments and that was the point i switched from adobe that was enough for me all right so they kind of bought the competitors clear the stage and introduce monthly payments so now you cannot own adobe photoshop illustrator whatever you need to pay monthly for it that's why i switched to affinity because i pay once that's the highest price in my region i for this price i get all three apps on all three operating systems so i get windows mac and ipad version and look i pay once and then i pay zero 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 dollars every month so definitely pricing is a big reason for people to switch to Affinity. And you know what? Affinity is kind of posting the big sell now. No, it's not a sponsor video, but now, now today they still got this 50% off sell. I think they're extending this because of what happened to Adobe. I think this is supposed to be like flash sell, like weekend sell, like short one. And the flash sell name of this disappear already now it's regular sell so they kind of extend this flash sale because what happened to adobe term of service they kind of try to catch some new customers based on that cannot blame them all right so keep in mind now you can get it half price all three apps for all three platforms keep in mind nowadays we are already rolling on version 2.5 so by buying version 2 of affinity apps you got right for free updates until the end of this generation 2 so there'll be 2.6 2.7 2.8 2.9 and that's it if you want update to 3.0 this will be probably a big launch with new features and stuff like that so if you want to upgrade to version 3 that will be a additional purchase so then you must buy version 3 generation 3 and then you will be receiving updates for that version until version 4 so version 3 is expected to show end of next year probably so just to let you know just to be clear here because adobe offer free updates right they're not really free because we as you remember we are paying 
monthly so they just keep the software update for us because of our monthly payments versus one-time payment for that generation all right so if they move to version 3 you will have a choice do you want do you want to pay for version 3 or you still want to use version 2 because you can use version 2 there are still people using version 1 by the way so you still can use that version if it's enough for you all right what else you may hear this news the many people really angry about on affinity side a few months ago so in march they announced that canva is buying affinity and some people predict end of the world already that affinity is going to move into subscription models it will be adobe 2.0 but not really we got those four pledges from the canva x affinity now and they state that they will fair price the software so they're not going for any price hikes and they also going to offer a one-time purchase license all right so what i think will happen in version 3 they will give maybe some kind of subscription with canva included as an option but you can still buy it with like one payment like normal seems like they're going for integration angle so that's what i mentioned in version 3 they may offer some integrations with canva features as you know canva got their own ai models for like removing the backdrop or quick selection and stuff like that so that's maybe included as an option in affinity 3.0 so that's why i believe it's a good time to switch to affinity to quit at adobe this year we got this new opportunity with canva it's maybe a great cooperation and they together may finally kind of win as you know by buying affinity you're getting free updates for that generation that you have purchased currently there's a sell 50 percent off that's another argument for switching no monthly payments that was the thing that convinced me years back we already got, know that adobe was kind of infamous for killing software for creators so simply you don't want to support this kind of company that killed your favorite software in the past they did some training for the ai using user generated content and we kind of learned it after fact so that's a part of history now it's something they already did there are many alternatives to adobe software so it's way way easier than a few years back i believe you can find the programs you need and of course, you got the basic Affinity package with three programs to cover Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and Inkscape. As you may know, they make some recent changes to Term of Service and they look really, really scary. And something from me, when I switched from Adobe to Affinity Designer first, it was pretty tough because people don't even know the software, the name. You say, Oh yeah, I finished this project in Affinity Design and people have no idea. They will ask you, can you send me Adobe Illustrator file? I say, all right, can be SVG, right? The same thing, the vector graphics. No, must be Illustrator file. So it was a bit tougher back then. Also very limited resources for learning tutorials and stuff like that. Nowadays, it's way, way better. We got several established YouTube channels. There are many books and online classes about Affinity Designer, Photo and Publisher. So I think it's a perfect time. If you've been waiting, planning on switching, I think it's time to just, just do it. And if you already switched to Affinity and now you are searching for some good learning materials, I would like to invite you to my Patreon when I post a one hour long video introducing Affinity Photo for new users. It's completely free for anybody, so you can just join for free and watch it without any ads to learn more about this great software. Alright, thank you for today and I will see you in the next video. Bye!